If you don't know how to make and use one shots yet, what are you even doing? Well, you're watching this video and I'm going to teach you all about how to do that. And for this, I'm going to use Electra X to make my one shot. So we need to clear out the default sound from Electra X. So you can just press in it. You can press reset all shablam default thing. Sounds pretty bad. So Electra X is pretty intimidating as a synth. You can click and you can look for what kind of sound you want to go with. So for example, if I wanted like a hyper saw, you could look through here what I want. There's quite a few in the custom wave. You see what I mean? It's pretty big. See, already pretty nice. I don't really know what PW stands for, but it's a nice way to mess around with the waveform. I kind of like that. I'm going to add in another waveform. And so down here, we have the ADSR. I like to bring my attack up usually on Electra X, because if you hear it down here, there's a little bit of a clicking sound. But if you bring it up just a bit, the clicking sound goes away. I think I'm going to go for more of like a key kind of sound. Um, my decay, I don't really want it to be crazy. And then the release, we can keep it a little bit, a little bit more up there, but nothing too intense. Ooh, okay. That's nice. I think I'm just going to throw a sine wave in there too. I'm going to mix these in a bit with the volume knob. And then over here we have the filter and this is more like EQ stuff pretty much. So I just have a, a low pass here. So I'm going to turn that, that knob down, I guess. Cause I want more of the low frequencies to show up and then I'm going to send it to here and put a high pass on there. Cause I have all these other synths. I got synth two, synth three and synth four. And I could add a little bit more low frequencies in. I kind of like how that's sounding. And then this is where you can throw your effects in. You can just click there. Ooh, that's kind of, that's kind of spicy. I'm gonna show you all some secret Electra X sauce. So if you just go to noise and fractal, you switch that to low pass, turn the PW all the way up. I'm gonna turn synth one off so you can hear this a bit better. And then you turn up the octave about maybe one. You get this really nice airy kind of sound, which I think I can layer in there really well. And that's going to be a bit more of my high end. But I don't want too, too much high end. And the low end's fine because there isn't really much already. Bring up the attack, drag out the release because I want this to be a bit longer. I'm going to leave the sustain where it's at. And I want this to be a bit more roomy, so I'm going to throw a reverb on it. Nice, that adds a little airy sound to the back of that. I'm just going to turn the volume down on it a bit. And synth 3. I think we keep synth 3 pretty basic. I'm just going to add some low end in here because I took out most of the low end earlier. And I think we can get a little more creative with this kind of section because I want to add a cool, like nice little wobble to it. And so we got the matrix down here and this is where we can mess around with the LFOs. So I'm just going to pick LFO one, which is this one right here. You can change the speed with the speed knob and I'm going to set it for PW one. So that's this knob here. And we can modulate that a little bit. We don't want to get too crazy. we add a little bit more in here you know it's nice and let's throw uh, like a tremolo on there okay, we can bring the volume down on this mostly though sound design just kind of comes around to just messing around and playing with your sounds i kind of like what we have and we can just kind of throw some effect on the master effect i don't really know what Ooh. I kind of like the chorus effect on there. It's a lot easier than it seems. And of course, you can like play around with this a lot more. There's more to it, but this is more on a basic level for the sound design. So now we need to render it out as a one shot. And this is really important. You want to find where it sounds best. So maybe it sounds better at C5. Maybe it sounds better at C4. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to make this more of like a pluck, actually. I know I kind of made the ADSR like it's a key, but it, it's sounding more like it should be a pluck. So I'm going to make this a bit shorter as a note. I think that's good. And we can just render this out. We can open this up in Edison just by right clicking, pressing edit and audio editor. We don't want the loop point. So we can just right click that and press delete. So first things first, you want to normalize your one shot. You can come in here and just press this button normalizes the one shot and you want to trim the tail. So all this nonsense here that we don't need, you can just click this and get rid of it. So this is our one shot. You can save that after, or you can just drag it right in by doing this. And there we have the one shot. We're going to get more into the tricks for using one shots. So I'd say the first most important thing is to actually use your ADSR envelope on the one shot. So typically, like I'll have my attack up here, maybe the hold, I'll bring it up because this is a pluck. I don't really want the hold to be too, too long. I think that's fine as is, but you can adjust it as you need. So we made a really simple melody. And 
and you're probably noticing that these higher notes feel a little too short. So with FL21, they added this great feature called Stretch Pro. So if you just put it on there, it's going to stretch it pretty nicely. <laughs> It also gives us this formant tool to play around with. You don't have to do this for your one shots, but when you notice the notes are getting a little too short in the higher octaves, this is a cool little thing you can do to just make your one shots work a little bit better. Also playing around with the formant tool is also a fun little thing you can do that just makes it sound cool. And since these are one shots, playing around with the velocity actually does something. So I'm just going to bring down the velocity of these bass notes. Another cool thing you can do with the one shots is you can add in slide notes. You can make a reverse slide note by having the slide and then muting the note. Just bring the velocity all the way down. And it kind of adds like a cool little effect to it. Do that in a few more places. One thing you'll probably notice about one shots is they oftentimes sound really dry. And you can fix that just by adding chorus, delay, or reverb. Um, I already added chorus, so I'm going to throw reverb on here. With a little bit of delay in there too. So I just pulled up a lead, and you may be wondering how to make your one shots glide around. Kind of the way you can do in Serum or Omnisphere, and you can just do that with the Portamento feature here. You just come to the wrench tool, press Porta, and then if you want you can put it in mono. This just means one note can play at a time, and then you can mess around with the slide, and this is how long it'll take to slide from note to note. So let's just say I have this lead here. But as you can see, the note's sliding around. And this is good for leads, and maybe any other instrument you want to have slide around. And let's just say we take the mono off of that. It kind of gets messy because it's playing multiple notes at the same time, as opposed to cutting the notes when they're switching. If you want to learn more melody tricks, one-shot tricks, or how to make one-shots, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos. I also want to say a big thank you to the channel members displayed on screen right now. If you want to become a channel member, press that join button down below. You'll get access to some exclusive perks. And if you want to get the one-shot we made in this video, I'm going to include that in a Dropbox link down in the description below.